Hello guys and girls and welcome back to my Dark Souls bonus episode. So this is after the game and uh, you know I'm Apple Bite like always and today we're gonna be uh, fighting the Dark Lurker. Now this episode might be a little bit longer. I've only been in Dark Lurker twice. Maybe only once and it was with uh, almost like a priest character. Um, or a paladin character, I would guess. It was a, a int, or not an int, a faith uh, build. And uh, he was really easy. Uh, I tried beating, I'm trying, I'm trying to beat him with my uh, dual wielding character and it's a lot harder than um, I figured it would be. So, um, so basically to, uh, to fight the dark lurker, there's three uh, points where this guy is, and basically, um, in each area, there's... Okay, shut up. So I could explain, sir. Um, can I go in? Hello? Wait. Wait, this shouldn't be happening. I should be able to go in. What the hell? Is this seriously happening right now? Um, yeah, I can't give him a human effigy right now because I'm supposed to be going into this portal. Okay, let me uh, try refreshing this. So I'll use a aged feather. Those monsters up there are so annoying. They're like shaking my controller and my screen. And I'm like, just give it up. You're not going to get me. So uh, let's try this again. Uh... I might have been no, I can't, I couldn't have been get, or I was like maybe I was getting invaded, but it's impossible because if I was getting invaded, I wouldn't be able to use H feather. So let's give this another go. Why can't I go in there? Enter covenant. Oh, I have to join the covenant. Okay, okay, that makes sense. I was like, wait, what am I doing wrong here? Okay, yeah, shut up. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So, like I was saying, to fight the Dark Lurker, there's three of these points. Uh, you have to give him a human effigy uh, to open these points. And basically, you come inside. There's going to be a couple of enemies. And basically, your job is to kill the enemies in your way. And to... Uh, there's three torches. So, one for each, uh, one for each area. And... Yeah. Um... What I'm gonna do, do I have, I do have poison knives, okay. Um, so yeah, there's one for each area. Um, you wanna light all three of them, after you light all three of them, then you don't have to light them anymore. And you could basically fight the dark lurker or whatever you want after that. Uh, okay, I poisoned that guy. That guy is such a pain in the ass. And not because he's hard or anything, but because that sorcerer right there. That sorcerer is just a pain in the butt, and then this guy does... No! That's already a death! Oh my god. <laughs> that was a really bad start. And so I'm moving around in my chair a lot. I'm like, ah. Um, yeah, but... Uh, yeah, so you open all three, you go inside each one, uh, and you... And you light a torch in each one. After that, you can fight the Dark Lurker. And uh, once you beat the Dark Lurker, that's it. That's the end of the game, basically. Or at least for me, at least. So, yeah, every time you want to open these portals, so every time you fail, you have to give them a human effigy. I might do a little bit of human effigy uh, gathering off camera. Because I don't think I have enough. At least not as much as I would want. I think I have, like, five more, maybe? Four? So basically, there's no more screwing up for me. I have to... Uh, I think I can mess up maybe one more time. Let's check. I have four. So I can mess up one more time, and after that, I can't mess up anymore. So uh, my biggest flaw was uh, just letting this big guy get close to me to hit... In the, or at least close enough to hit me. Which uh, was definitely bad. We're going to go with the poisoning again. And then, you see that freaking Pyromancer is such a fucking pain in the ass. I was not able to poison him. Which is neither a good or bad thing. Uh, we're gonna aggro him to attack, and then we'll use Soul Geyser on him. Please hit him. 
Oh, that didn't do nearly as much damage as I was hoping for. Take that. I think I'm just going to spam my uh, range attack and use repair powder as needed. Uh, because, like I said, fighting these guys individually, not so much of a problem. Fighting them together, that's a complete different way. And I keep try I keep pushing A to freaking roll, like in Witcher. So you should be... Oh my god, there's that other fucking asshole shooting lightning and all that other crap at me. Yeah, I keep pushing A to dodge, which is really bad. Um, as you can see, there's still one more sorcerer enemy in the distance, and my this weapon is not doing nearly enough damage, which has me a little bit worried. Um, yeah. Let's take him out. There we go. Okay. So the the other, the last guy, um, the one that's like keeps shooting me while I'm fighting this guy, he's a chump. Uh, don't really need to worry too much about him. Uh, he has that, which always drops me, but that's just m more annoying than anything else, really. Uh, they all, or if your item drop or item discovery is high, uh, they usually drop uh, bonfire aesthetics, so uh, you know that's good if you're into uh, using bonfire aesthetics. Uh, but, but, but which way do I go? I cannot see, you. and that's I, I I said this before, but I'm using a mod. Uh, makes the game darker, more grimy. Um, I, f I f like to think that the game was supposed to look like this because, you know, torches basically have no use in the entire game except for maybe, like, the gutter. So, uh, yeah. Oh, also, when you come in here, you need, you need, you need to have uh, flame butterflies because you cannot bring a torch in here from outside and you need to light these torches. And the only way to light them is with a torch. So that's one. Uh, of the of the torches that we needed to uh, light. After that, we can make our way out of here, and there should be like one or two more enemies standing in our way. Oh, there's uh, actually a lot of enemies standing in our way. I'm gonna use that to repair my sword. I'm gonna equip throwing knives. Because why the hell not? Throwing knives. Yeah, these don't do like any damage. Might as well throw like a toothpick at them. Uh -huh. Take that. That does a good amount of damage. I could keep spamming that. Roll out the way. And that. Uh, I, I thought he would have been done. There. Now he's done. Okay, after that, we could come down here. Actually, I want him to come up here, because there's that other magic guy, and I really don't feel like dealing with him. So I'm going to lure him up here. You ain't Jester Thomas. You can't do t dual pyromancy like he can. Like, what's the point of having dual pyromancy hands? Like, it's not like you get, like, a damage boost or anything. Oh, that chaos fireball is like so scary okay so there you go we actually handled him a lot easier than we did the first guy and then we just have to kill this guy three hits is enough to kill him and basically we're out of here so there's these points make sure you see fog in the bottom of them because that means you actually can fall down I don't want you guys to be like you told me I could fall down these holes but I'm like you know and die from it but so you talk to him uh, my devotion goes up. Uh, he gives you resonating uh, soul, whatever. Uh, now we we could use this H feather to get back. Now the next, I like doing these in a specific order. I think this one's probably the hardest one, so this is the one you want to do first. Uh, and then the next one that I like doing is the one under uh, Castle Drang Lake. So that's where we're gonna head to next. 
hopefully I can knock this video out in like 30 minutes. I'm up to 10 minutes right now, which uh, is behind schedule, or at least the schedule I made up for myself, and yeah. So, no, I don't want to give him an effigy, yes. I should open up the portal. Yeah, shut up. Uh, okay, whatever. Yeah. Okay, so we'll touch this. We'll go into uh, this. I don't even know where this is. What do you even call this? Like, Dark Chasm. Okay, yeah, Dark Chasm was old. <laughs> uh, so right here, you, you need to jump. You will fall if you try just walking through that. Um, so, yeah. Uh, ba, ba, ba. there's a lot of falls in this area specifically so make sure you're looking out where you're walking and I have to fight this Havel bitch I might die right off the bat nope I think I can get an Estus out why am I not holding up my shield nope he pushed me off <laughs> I saw that coming like a mile away. I was like, he's definitely going to push me off, isn't he? Um, what I'm going to do, because the easiest time I had with doing these segments was with, uh, I had a dex build and I was using archery and I would just like use poison arrows and uh, do it that way. But I think the way I want to do it here is actually use uh, like soul spears. One, what's better to have soul geyser or two soul spears? I'll just go with this geyser and the soul spears. Um, yeah, okay. So let's give this another try. No, I want to give you human effigy. Shut up. He really doesn't give me anything important. He's like, oh, embrace the dark uh, and stuff. Okay. So we'll go try giving Havel. Ah, it's so it's so weird playing Dark Souls after playing Witcher. They're both action RPGs, but their uh, their combat systems are way different. So, oh my God, I almost fell right there. Okay, so there's my blood stain. I'm gonna take out my staff. I would like to freaking take that take that and I think I will use soul geyser on you yes okay and there's another guy over here in this little cave area uh, I think he uses Ricard's rapier I'm not entirely sure of that so don't uh, don't quote me on that let's take it into this cave where you and me could fight by ourselves a little shield bash make sure I have enough stamina to roll Nope. He was trying to lunge attack me. No, wait, why did I hit the wall? Okay, let me regain my stamina. Take that, and that's game. Okay, cool. Dropped another bonfire aesthetics. Those might be useful. You can use bonfire aesthetics to farm human effigies so easily in this game, so uh, definitely worth picking up. Especially if you have trouble with... Uh, you know, having human effigy, especially since you need to use it for uh, these segments. Um, so I think the next torch is right here, which it is. Um, so pull out your flame butterflies, uh, use it, and we will be lighting this torch. All right, so that's two out of three. There's one more. Um, Shouldn't be too bad. Um, let's see. Now the exit for this place is somewhere, I'm sure. Okay, there's one guy standing in our way. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Okay. Weak enough to... Uh... They're weak enough to um, my magic attacks. So we'll wipe the floor with them easily, like so. And they give you a pretty good amount of souls. Um, that one gave me 2,400. Yeah, you could drop down here. So that's two of the three done. Now we just need the last one and to kill the Dark Lurker. Now, I like using uh, this last area 
uh, to do it because I feel it's the easiest one and um, and to fight the Dark Lurker you do have to make th uh, make your way through the area um, you have to make your way through the area again so like um, what does that mean uh, so basically like all the all the uh, NCPs or, or yeah the NCP like type enemies that you're seeing me fight right now I have to fight those guys also like every time I try find the dark lurker I have to go through those areas because uh, they kind of put a fog wall uh, to stop your advancement if you don't kill them so you have to kill them and uh, and yeah so you have to kill those guys and this one seems to be the easiest one for me to do so I like doing this one because obviously the more challenging ones would uh, more risky I guess so there we go we used uh, yes whatever yes may the dark lead me I have one more try after this if I don't make or if I don't do it in this try or the next try I'll go off camera, maybe pick up like 5 or 10 human effigies really quick, and I mean really quick, it'll probably take me like maybe 5 minutes or so, and uh, yeah, and then I'll, I'll meet you back here. Um, hopefully we could just wipe the floor with the Dark Lurker, even though I think he's fairly easy. Uh, he has, he has uh, 2... He has two stages to to his um uh... What? How did that not hit you? How did that not fucking hit you? I use my soul geyser on you and it doesn't even fucking hit you? It doesn't even freaking hit him. Now the reason why I'm standing behind this rock is because that guy, like I said, he has a lot of uh magic that could push you back and I've been pushed back into this like uh, bottomless hole like a bunch of times I was gonna say like a million times but no that's really over exaggerating uh, not that much but frequently enough for me to be like you know what I'll just do this now since we are gonna fight the dark lurker right after finishing this area I would suggest not using your your uh, essences like I just did and using um, life gems and such uh, instead I push that guy in the hole and I feel really good about that uh, use another flame butterfly this is the last torch that you need to um, to light so now we can fight the dark lurker basically um, my throat is like or my mouth is really dry I need something to drink but I don't have a bottle of water with me this time which really sucks. So you want to pull this lever, you're going to make your way down. There's one more enemy. He's really, uh, in my opinion, he's easy. Uh, you know, everyone's going to have different opinions on different enemies. Um, so yeah, I'm probably going to use up my magic so then I could use one of my, uh, one of my wilted herbs to regain my soul geyser so I could use that against, uh, so I could use that against, what's its face and just like that that guy's taken care of uh, one of these I have 17 of them Wow I'm just gonna use two uh, that should bring me back to full spell uses I'd like never use them so I don't feel bad about using them uh, and the hole right is right here so take a deep breath mentally ready yourself Jedi mode Let's go. Dark Lurker awaits. And this, my dear friends, is the Dark Lurker. Uh, right there, he's gonna shoot like three fireballs at us, like so. Uh, not too bad to dodge. Right here is just like a little whatever attack. Um, he's gonna shoot. Oh. No. No. Okay, I'm gonna use this time to heal up. Um, but basically he shoots soul spears like that, or what they look like soul spear. He has that like soul great sword. He usually hit, does like a two to three hit combo with that. So there's one and then he does like a thrusting attack. Uh, let's see if I can show it off. 
No, I can't. Um, and then he has that one where he hit me with that like black spear that or black ball thing. Oh, and he has this one which is like a uh, aerial effect attack. Uh, there you go. That's the two right there. Um, I'm trying to show off all his moves. And then this one. This one's the one. It's pretty easy to dodge as long as you roll toward it. Like so. Oh. Oh. Uh, okay. Things aren't going too well. I'm not even attacking him yet because I want to show off most of his attacks. And that was my downfall. <sighs> I could have... Mm, it would, it would have gone a lot better if, if I was actually trying to hit him instead of showing off all his attacks. But I think I showed off everything. Uh, he has one other skill that you'll see uh, in a bit, basically. Uh, I don't want to show it off right now because I think it's a really cool attack. and uh, or It's not even an attack, it's just an ability. So uh, I'll leave that as a surprise later. But those are the four attacks. Uh, that you have to be worried about. Now his second phase of the battle starts when you bring him down to half health. Now, um... So, yeah, just be warned that, you know, that happens when you get halfway down his health. Now I need to take away these, t the, these uh, ridiculous, uh... Those ridiculous throwing knives, because, uh... Great resident soul. Uh... So this is the last try I'm going to get, for right now, at least. Alright, so there we go. Uh, okay, shut up. Okay, let's go through this. So we will have to fight those, like, four enemies before fighting the Dark Lurker again. Which is probably the most tedious part, um, you know. Uh, but we should be able to go through it really quick. And, yeah. So you see, it's nice and lit in here now. I don't want to aggro all of them. Uh. Yeah, thanks. Thanks a lot, buddy. You can see how that gets really annoying. Um, God damn, I couldn't aggro any of them. Oh, maybe I could aggro this this guy to come to come over, and I could just beat his ass really quickly. Now, I would prefer to be like at full maximum HP when fighting the Dark Lurker, but you know, uh, due to certain circumstances, I don't have. Uh, the equipment nor anything else to do that so um, you know oh I think I got the archer to aggro he might come after me if he does that'll be such a big help um, just busting these like I said you don't want to use your essences until you actually fight the dark lurker your arrows do not phase me Saya Oh, he S this. I didn't even know they could S this. It's fine. We'll we'll kill him right now. It's not like what he did is gonna change the outcome of this battle. You will not suppress me, sir. Bam! In the face. Power in the kisser. Power in the kisser. Power in the kisser. Alright. So uh use life gems to heal myself up. Then this guy. I think he's a rapier or a dagger. User, yeah, two dual dagger, I think. Just like so, pretty easy. Use these uh, life gems. All right, uh, and bring down the elevator once again. And da 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 da, not here. Yeah, there's no illusionary walls in any of these, as far as I know. So let's make our way down, 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 down. <clears throat> Alright, take care of this chump right quick. I don't want to use my magic. I want to save it for the uh, Dark Lurker. 
and I don't want to use uh, my my little spices or whatever that they are. She's a monastery charm. Okay, there we go. Our blood stains right out here, and this time we'll fight the dark lurker for serious. So uh, let's hope this goes well. Um, it's gonna shoot soul spear at me, dodge out the way. Okay, that was a bad dodge in my part. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh, you're over there. Cool. It's probably the part I like attacking him the best. Uh, that that sword is really easy to dodge. If you just keep going to his left. So, that's my plan. You can copy my plan if you like. Or you can make up your own plans. <clears throat> Dodge, dodge, <clears throat> there you go, two more attacks. Yeah, he's more, he's mostly deadly when he uses his spells. So you want to kind of uh, limit, and like I said, you want to go at the spell right there. See how I ran toward it and then just dodge at the end? That's probably the easiest way to avoid it um right here's the second part of the battle which is when he splits into two so this is the hard part no are you serious no okay i'm just gonna um cut this out or i'm gonna cut out right now and then I'll see you guys back at the Dark Lurker. I'm not going to make you guys sit through the whole thing again. I'm just going to get some more human effigies because I ran out. And uh, yeah, I'll meet you back here. So I'll see you guys real soon. What's up, guys and girls? Welcome back. We're about to fight the Dark Lurker for like the fifth time. Um, last time we got really close. And you no, know, it just wasn't enough. We just couldn't pull through at the end, uh, sadly. Like attacks like that, I should not be getting, I should not be getting hit by. Uh, since only one of them, I'm gonna use a life gem to heal up. Which hole is it going to? It doesn't really matter. Roll towards it. All right, got healed. Got hit twice. What you gonna do about that? What you gonna do about that, man? What you gonna do? Alright. I'm seriously sick of fighting him already. Like, I've only fought him a couple times and I'm like, man. But oh my god, when they turn to two and, you know, one's throwing fireballs at you, the other one's throwing soul spears, and it's just crazy, man. Crazy. Wow, that looked like it probably should have hit me, but it didn't, thankfully. Okay, let's look at what hole it's going to come out of. I went to that one, so it's coming out of that one, so roll toward that one. Oh, and a soul spear, huh? And a soul freaking spear. No! Okay, life gem. I'm trying to conserve my essences till after he splits into two, so that's uh, one of my new plans. My next plan, or my uh, my supplemental plan, is to not get hit. If I don't get hit, there's nothing to worry about. So, you know that goes without saying. Please don't split. He's already splitting. He's splitting so early now. He used to split like halfway through, but you know. Wow, that did so much damage. Estes, Estes. Bitch is get wrecked. Bitches get wrecked. Bitches get wrecked! Okay. Whew! 
Dark Lurker Soul. Let's take a look at that. And I don't think it really says much. Uh, soul of Nalashandra. Where is it? Is it this one? No, that's Old King Soul. Old King Soul. Hmm. Uh, I guess I've been doing some like uh, bonfire aesthetics. Shiz. Uh, where the frick frack is it? Frick frack. Uh, it's supposed to be dark, isn't it? Soul of the Sandra, Soul of the Old King, Giant Lord, Ancient Dragon, Demon of Song, Dark Lurker. Never mind, it's not dark. I thought it was. Um, the dark chasm of old is a remnant of some ancient, dissipated being. So I think just like Nassandra, the Dark Lurker is a part of Manus that started reconstructing itself. Because, I mean, I think... Uh, through like the bow of wand chime and uh, the chime of want the chime of, or the bow of want and there's one more uh, it says that because Nassandra was the smallest of the fragments she was the first to regain uh, a form but first meaning there's more than one so I think the dark lurker is another one that started regaining its form and So, uh, basically once, okay, so you get, uh, okay, so there's three lo uh, ranks to the Pilgrim of the Dark Covenant. Uh, you get the first one by lighting one torch, you get the second one by lighting all three torches, and you get the last one by being the Dark Lurker. And when you beat the Dark Lurker, you get this last hex, which is, what was it? It was, it was some hex, uh, <sighs> It was not that one. Climax. Climax, and then you also get the sweetest armor set in the game. Most of you probably already know this by now, but if you don't, close your eyes and I'll tell I'll tell you guys when to open them so you can see how freaking sweet this armor set is. Uh no, not those. These and uh, these. Now, ready? Are you guys ready? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to count to three, and you open your eyes on three. One, two, three. Bam! Q-tip. Q-tip armor is back. It's pretty sweet. I like it. I like how they downgraded the head so it doesn't take up half the screen. And with this, with that, with this, with all of this and that and the above, uh, do we only get 45,000 souls for being Dark Lurker? thought you got like a hundred and something. Um, but with that, we're done with Dark Souls. I beat in, I think, all the bosses, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and like I said, I wouldn't mind live streaming uh, New Game Plus for you guys, but I need to see that you guys actually want that. So, if, uh, you know, if you guys want that, if I see a good support on it, I'll make sure to live stream it for you and I'll give you the dates and all that and we could, you know, do some live chatting and all of that. So, thank you so much for uh, joining me on my journey through Dark Souls 2. It was long, tiring, frustrating, amazing to say the least, and who the hell is excited for Bloodborne? It's, I'm totally going to buy a PS4 just for that game. Uh, looks amazing. If you don't know what that is, look it up. It was announced in e uh, E3 like two days ago. Um, so, till our next adventures, which will probably be Thomas Was Alone or The Novelist. And then after that, it'll be Dark Souls. And then after that, I'll probably have a straw poll for you guys to vote on what I should play next. So, like I said, thank you so much for joining me on my Dark Souls 2 Conquest. And till next time, boys and girls, I'll see you guys later. Johnny!